In this differential calculus lecture video, we will answer the sample problem as presented in the uh, lecture note curvature. Now here we will uh, find the radius, the circle, the center and circle of curvature in rectangular coordinates. Now the uh, instruction here is find the radius of curvature, center of the circle of curvature, and the equation of the circle of curvature, the point indicated. And the equation given is y squared is equal to 8x at the point to 4. Now, the formula given from the notes, the formula given for the radius is equal to 1 plus first the, the square of first derivative and then these are all raised to 3 halves divided by the absolute value for second derivative of y. So, as we can see here, we need to first find the uh, first derivative of y and the second derivative of y. So, solution. So, we are going to do some implicit differentiation. This is 2y, y prime is equal to 8. Therefore, y prime is equal to 8 over 2y. And for y double prime, we have 2y. Uh, derivative of 8 is 0, minus 8. Derivative of 2y, that is 2. So what is dy over dx? That is y prime. All over square of 2y. Now, we can cancel that one out. So, what's left is negative 60y prime over 4y squared. Now, this is uh, negative 16 times we have here 8 over y, 8 over 2y, because we have here the value for y prime over 4y squared so that is uh, equal to we cancel this one out here this becomes 8 so what is 8 times 8 is equal to negative uh, 64 over y multiplied with the reciprocal which is 1 over 4y squared so what's left here is equal to negative so y double prime here is now equal to negative 16 over y raised to 3. Now since there is a point given already at point uh, 2 4 so we will be able to find the value for y prime and y double prime. So at 2, 4, we have y prime is equal to 8 over 2y. And so, 8 over 2 times 4, that is equal to 1. y double prime is equal to negative 16. <coughs> y raised to 3, that is equal to negative 16. Over y is 4 raised to 3, that is equal to negative one fourth. So we now have the value for y prime and y double prime. So we will just substitute for radius of curvature. So again, I will just rewrite the formula. 1 plus y prime squared raised to 3 halves and over absolute value for y double prime that is equal to 1 he, one plus y prime here is 1 squared raised to the power of 3 halves the absolute value for y double prime is 1 fourth yes so since we took the positive value for y double prime. So that's why the negative sign here is uh, removed. Therefore, if we use our calculator, 
the value for y here will become 8 square root of 2 or you can have 11.314 so this is what we're looking for the radius of curvature next we're looking for the center of curvature now for center of curvature For center of curvature, we have the formulas u is equal to x minus y prime multiplied with 1 plus y prime squared all over uh, y double prime. Okay. So again, uh, we are looking for the center of curvature and that center of curvature is actually uh, UV. So this is the formula for U. So we will first find the value for U. And for V here, V, V is actually Y plus 1 plus Y prime squared all over Y double prime. Now take note that this y double prime is no longer the absolute value okay. so now you can see why we uh, took the y prime and y double prime because we need that in the formulas now what will be the value of x now remember there is a point already given a point 2 4 there we will use that so at point u we have the value of x 2 Minus the value for y prime a while ago is 1. Then 1 plus y prime is 1 again. Squared over value of y double prime is negative 1 fourth. So if we use our calculator, what will uh, the answer be? Uh, for y, uh, for the point u, the answer will be equal to so it is equal to 10 now for b the value for y here will be 4 it's already given the problem plus 1 plus y, do y uh, prime is 1 y double prime is negative 1 fourth Using your calculator, what's the value for B? So for B, it is negative 4. Therefore, center is at 10, negative 4. So this is the answer for the center. Now, another thing that we're looking for is the uh, equation of the circle of curvature so for circle of curvature we have the formula x minus u squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared so we will just substitute the value that we took Except that we will leave the x variable here. So u here is 10 squared plus y minus uh, negative 4 squared. And that is equal to 8 square root of 2 for the r. Okay, so this is x minus 10 squared plus y plus 4 squared 8 square root of 2 squared. Now this becomes x squared minus 20x plus 100 plus y squared plus uh, 8y plus 16 
and that is equal to 128 so this is now equal to x squared plus y squared minus 20x plus 8y then for the constant that is 100 plus 16 minus 128 and it's negative 12 is equal to 0 so this is now the equation of the circle of curvature but we will, will need to check first checking we'll try to do some checking so at the point 2 4 so x minus u squared plus y minus v squared is equal to is it equal to r squared so we have here input the values 2 minus 10 squared plus the y here is negative no, 4 that is um, 4 minus negative 4 is it equal to the square of 8 square root of 2 and the answer here is 128 and that is equal to 128 therefore this is now the equation of the circle okay, so that is for the sample number 1 Now for the sample number 2, we have the uh, equation y is equal to x raised to 3 minus x squared at the point <coughs> 1, 0. A solution. <coughs> first, we need to get the first derivative, y prime, is equal to 3x squared minus 2x. So that is the first derivative for y double prime, which is equal to 6x minus 2 at uh, point 1 0 we have y prime is equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 therefore y prime is equal to 1 for y double prime we have 6 times 1 minus 2 therefore y double prime is equal to 4 Let's substitute it for radius of curvature. So for radius of uh, curvature, we have there r is equal to 1 plus y prime squared raised to the power of 3 halves all over the absolute value of y double prime. And we have here... 1 plus y prime is equal to 1. Raised to 3 halves all over y double prime is 4. Therefore, r is equal to square root of 2 over 2 or that is 0 0.707. So, that is d value for the radius now for center of curvature for center of curvature uh, UV so the center of curvature is UV so U here is X minus Y prime 1 plus y prime squared over y double prime. And we have there the value for x here is 1 minus y prime is 1. 1 plus 1 squared over y double prime is 4. Therefore, u is equal to one half. So that is for the u. How about for the B? 
v is equal to y plus 1 plus uh, y prime squared all over y double prime. Value for y is 0 plus 1 plus y prime is 1. y double prime is 4. So v is equal to what is 2 divided by 4 that is 1 half also. Therefore, the center is located at 1 half, 1 half, that, or that is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That is for the center of curvature. Now, for the circle of curvature, for the circle of curvature, we have the formula x minus u squared plus y minus v squared is equal to r squared so we have here x minus one half we found that a while ago plus y minus one half squared and that is equal to the uh, square of the square root of two over two so one half one half x squared minus x plus one fourth plus y squared minus y plus one fourth is equal to uh, this is square root of, this is one half so one half therefore we have their x squared minus x or let's just put here plus y minus x minus y plus one half minus one half equals zero cancel this one out x squared plus y squared minus x minus y is equal to zero that is the equation for the circle of curvature so that is for sample number two So it means you just have to memorize the formula for the radius, the value for u and v, and the formula for the circle of curvature. So that's it for this video.